All right, welcome to the final chunk of MQTT. We are almost there on videos. Uh, so we've got a couple different examples and I just kind of wanted to prepare you for some things you're gonna see in the modules. Um, so there's an M1, an M2, an M3, an M4, and an M5. Uh, M5 is that remote control that you're gonna make at the end. One thing I wanna mention about these M's is you'll notice that these first two just say M1 PC, M2 PC. These first two are gonna be just running on your computer, the personal computer, right? Um, and then the next one, three, four, and five, you can see there's there's two files. Oh, there's a typo in that one, dang it. Um, each one says like, uh, I'll point at M4 here, uh, M4 EV3. So if it says underscore EV3, that's a file you're gonna run on the EV3, right? If it says M4 PC, that's a file you're gonna run uh, on your PC. Um, and so here you can see you're gonna have a program that runs on your EV3 for the remote drive you're going to have a program that runs on your PC. And I tried to name them this EV3 or PC to make it clear which run runs there. Uh, and then here it's obviously a typo, which I'll fix shortly after this video. Uh, but let's look at uh, one of these in more depth, just so when you hit these modules, you're like you're, you're not like jarred, like right off the go. Um, and so the first couple, we're using just your PC, uh, because to be honest, fewer things go wrong, right? If you're just using your PC, as opposed to when you're actually using hardware as well. And it's kind of easier to learn a little bit about MQTT uh, with just your PC. We are gonna use Tekentor even from the get-go, uh, but we're gonna use just your, your PC. Um, so let's look at this first uh, first module you've got here. Uh, and so we're gonna open it up, uh, and so I'm gonna open up mine, uh, and it's called Shared Circles. Um, so mine has the to-dos done in it already, so you can kind of cheat and you can look at mine. Um, another thing that mine is doing, so it's a solution, is instead of connecting to the default um, MQTT server, I'm I'm listening to that um, MQTT dashboard thing because I'm going to do some sniffing here, right? Um, so let me go ahead and, and run it, and then we'll talk about the code. Uh, and what this guy does is he um, lets you click and make circles. Um, and just like the other things, is he's actually... Um, sending it to a server. So he's publishing uh, to topic lego999 slash draw, and he's listening to lego99 slash draw. Um, and you can see that he's actually passing up uh, where he's clicking, um, and then he's getting them back, and he's setting his color. Uh, and some of the ways he's doing that is he's got a delegate. Uh, that delegate receives the canvas. Uh, so this, uh, this thing you can see here is the canvas, right? Um, and whenever he receives a message on circle draw, uh, he makes a circle be there. So that's his receiving. Um, and so when the, the MQTT client was set up, he was made as the delegate and he's connecting and he's publishing to draw and he's listening to draw. So you're gonna hear yourself, right? And so what he does is he'll send messages. So like he'll send um, on draw circle and then he'll pass the parameters. And if you go look at this guy, he was expecting a color, an X and a Y. And sure enough, here you pass a list, uh, which is a color, an X, and a Y. Uh, and just because it's fun uh, to sniff for messages, um, I'm going to go ahead and set up my uh, little sniffer tool here again. So I'm going to uh, clear off those guys, and I'm going to subscribe to this draw uh, area, and I might even uh, I might even publish something to it. Uh, so let's just go ahead and try this out. So if I uh, move this to where you can kind of see most things. Um, so if I click right here, you can see that I got the message um, on draw circle uh, and had a payload, which was a list, uh, and it showed up there, which was neat. Uh, and by the way, I can totally um, <laughs> totally send messages from my little sniffing tool too, right? So this is kind of fun, but uh, it's not really useful here. Um, and so if I wanted to do a, I don't know, a blue circle uh, that was just like a little bit lower, so I'll just go down like 40, um, what I could do is I could say publish, um, and if I did everything right, uh, you would see it show up. It showed up way over there. Forgot where I was clicking at. Uh, let's bring it uh, back over here into this range. Uh, and so I'll publish that one there. There you can see it popped up. And then if I send a purple circle uh, and I send it to, I don't know, 380 or 280, uh, you can see that it shows up there. And so this uh, opening example, uh, we're going to have you like making some circles. We're going to make you be a color and then your teammates are going to be a different color. Um, and you're going to like uh, be able to see other people's things. Uh, one of the things I have you do is like if you can like draw your name in circles, uh, you can do that. Or maybe your initials. So I'm uh, 
Dave Fisher, so I'd make a D and an F. So that's kind of how we're going to start things off. Most of the to-dos uh, are pretty light uh, in that M1, but that's because we're just kind of easing you into it, right? Uh, and then as we do more, um, you'll you'll get more and more complex. So uh, easing you into it, uh, a little bit more complex, but still on your computer. Um, and then these are computer to EV3, um, and you're going to do three examples with that. By the way, for computer to EV3, you've kind of got two options. Um, one is you can run the program on your computer, same computer that's connected to the robot, um, or you can have two different people do it. If you choose to do both on one computer, I recommend you put computer logs on the right um, and then EV3 logs at the bottom, um, and then you can kind of see them both at the same time, or just have two different people do it. Uh, all right, so I think that's uh, all we've got for MQTT. We've kind of introduced you to the models. We've talked about that first one specifically. Uh, now we're ready to turn you loose. Uh, so in class, you'll be able to hit the ground running uh, with MQTT. Have fun. Good luck. Bye. Mm -hmm.